my name is Eulers, apparently, and welcome back to Undermine. Hell yeah. I I'm thinking in this run, maybe we don't want to go directly to the den. Maybe instead... Ooh, increase gold income. Hell yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Got him, got him. Run away and found the secret room. Hell yeah. Uh, maybe instead of doing that, what we're going to want to focus on is trying to get the second boss down. So as is customary here, I'll complete a little bit of the first floor until I get an item or a blessing or you know, something of value. And then we can bounce on out of here. Getting extra keys. Now, that counts as the something of value. Okay. This room is making me feel pretty threatened. Oh, yeah, I knew. I, I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> I was going to get hit by one of those traps. It had to. Still pretty fine completion. We can bounce again. Uh, if I had a bomb, I'd be pretty happy using it in that room, actually, because of how much it would blow up. And then would I use a key to open a chest? Oh, that's, that's a little bit more of a... I don't know about that one. But, look, if we get a bomb, we'll go back. Increases throw speed. Happy to have it. Take more damage, though, as a result of uh, minor brittleness. Ooh, another extra key. You'll love to see it. No secret room adjacency, although I really didn't suspect there was one there. Mushroom! That'll do. That'll definitely do. Also, decreasing our max HP has not taken away from a percentage of our current HP. That's important to know because it means that if you are missing a lot of HP, you're very incentivized. To oh my god, if we had a single bomb, this room would be so good. I shouldn't have used my bomb so early. Uh, but it, it means that if you have taken damage, you're now incentivized to take any benefit that would lower your max HP because you're not really paying current HP for it as well. Savvy? I could get a bomb in this next room. It's entirely possible. I mean, it didn't happen, but it was possible. Hard to contest otherwise. Okay. I'll travel to Delve More Dungeon. And we're looking to try and fight the boss. So I'm going to try and keep myself in a good HP situation. Oh, what a room! <laughs> Just farming max HP. Okay. Death at 90 to go. <gasps> they joined together?! I got the Queen's Bomb! Death in all directions! However, it doesn't give me another bomb having picked it up. That's a little unfortunate. Um... Uh, yeah, I'll accept that amount. Not really like I have a choice, but I'll accept it. And honestly, the fact that I I don't think I took damage while I was doing that, that's pretty dang good. Could have been significantly worse. <sighs> okay. Ah, uh, yikes. Yeah, as soon as I say I didn't take damage, of course. 
the game has to be like, oh, didn't you? <laughs> Let's correct that. Shop should probably be nothing for us. Maybe a bomb. Remove a curse? Yeah, that's actually that's a really good idea, especially if I intend to go for bosses. Which I do. Alright. I'm just not going to do that then. If I kill everything in the room that isn't the healer, the healer will have nothing to heal. That is to say, the priest. The otter priest. Um... Yeah, picking up another curse right now is probably... No. We'll have a look at what you can offer. More throw damage. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> It'll make us significantly more offensively capable against the boss, because I am mainly going to be doing throw damage there. As is customary for me. Also, this is a surprising amount of gold to get here at the end of the room. I'm going to go back and I'm going to use this bomb on the uh, the more difficult to bomb thing. <laughs> I explained myself so poorly. Uh, there are some stones of a higher level over here that we now have the ability to bomb. Was that worth it? Eh, probably not. Probably not. Oh well. <laughs> oh. Right. And down we go. So fourth floor is going to be the boss, right? I mean, hang on. That did help us level up our familiar. Maybe I'm discounting the value of that. Especially given the goal of this run is trying to defeat a boss. I'm very much going to try and not lose HP. So like that lever that looks like it would have taken my HP in order to give me some sort of a benefit does not really appeal to me at this point in time. I don't really want to go to this shop either, frankly. Keep a pretty significant amount of money, though. I think probably one of the next upgrades on which I'm going to want to focus is getting more potion slots. Really? At the absolute least, we have the ability to do that, but I thought I could pick up items from a distance. Does items not include food? Well, at least by the judgment of the gecko's other foot, it doesn't. Shame. So ranged only strat, I feel like it's... I don't know. I feel like it's real. Mm -hmm. Real good. Increases experience gain for a familiar. Hell yeah. Permanently. We actually may end up with a uh, level 3 familiar here as well. On what is admittedly quite a short run. Having skipped a fair few floors. Is the experience, sorry, uh, is the experience gained for the familiar uh, scaled to, one sec, why well, complete the rest? Of I could have gotten that burned by the fire. Oh, that would have been strats. But is the experience gain that you get uh, related to how much gold you get? 
So if I get higher value pieces of gold, I'm getting more experience? I don't know. Just a question. I'd really love to be able to zoom out for the map here, but... I'm not backtracking. This is a situation in which we go, go, go. Yeah, the familiar is getting pretty ridiculous experience gain, actually. I made sure that those were low rocks so that... Oh, dang it! Made sure they were low rocks so I knew that I was going to be able to jump over them in order to get out of that sticky situation. However, I completely ignored the bush that was going to be blocking my path later. Oops. Uh, why I'm trying to focus on destroying them immediately as soon as I see them now. That is the, the bushes. Savvy. Hoppa. Eh, 10 damage for that room. I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. Ooh. Enemies drop gold when killed though. I'm definitely comfortable with that. Drops useful items. Yeah, I'm going to do that because I really want another bomb. And I can use the HP. And I could use the key, probably, later on. Hang on. Can I throw it through the fireball in order to... No? Oh, so the trick is use a bomb to free it. But then that also destroys it. All right. I, hmm. Good thing I just got a bomb that I immediately lost for no value whatsoever. <laughs> Get away. Yeah, the spawned enemies are not giving us any HP. We knew that was the case from before, but it's nice to occasionally recheck these things because I might have been wrong on my first assessment. I wasn't. <laughs> I might have been. But I, I hasten to add that I was not. But I could have been. But it wasn't. All right, let's go down to the next floor. Ooh, immediate item. Don't mind if I do. Definitely don't mind if I do. Reject, uh, reflect rather, projectiles with an attack. Grimhilda's mirror. Just making sure that I've covered all of those. Ooh, sorry, some of these rooms are actually demanding like a lot of my focus in order to clear them without taking a trillion damage. Uh, and I'm still taking a lot of damage. So imagine how much damage I would be taking if I was speaking. Oh my god. Can you not spawn enemies like directly next to me at the start of a room? It's just kind of rude. I mean, ultimately, I'll be able to deal with them, but just initially. Just a little rude. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we leveled up over the course of this floor at this point. It's 
Yeah. In fact, it kind of feels inevitable. Hell, I feel like it's probably going to happen in this room. <laughs> there it goes. And in fact, this familiar is now kind of trivializing the enemies. Oh, uh, sorry, the pilfers, that is. Because it collects so dang quickly. Well, there's the boss. Go for another blessing beforehand. You know, because I don't know what I'm going to get as the curse. And the curse might be something awful. I was going to say, the curse might be bosses instantly kill you, but it won't be that. <laughs> there's no need to be hyperbolic. I'll take a moderate amount of HP restored there. Probably still complete the rest of the floor before we go to the boss, though. Although I don't think there is much to the rest of the floor. I think it's probably like this is the antechamber and then the exit. Yeah, it's exactly that. All right. Finally, the second boss on camera. I have seen the second boss in my own time. The old, 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 old experience with the game. Not recent. Everything that's been happening since I started recording this series has been recorded on camera. Mortar, the charged golem. Ah! No. Come on, let me destroy these. <laughs> Okay, one down. They're probably like spreading the damage among themselves right now. A lot, in fact. Because they're rotating while I'm still just trying to hit singular targets, trying to focus them down. But he is definitely like the first phase of the fight for me. Get him down. Because they definitely don't seem to be respawning at all. My range damage is now probably better than my melee damage, so... It is likely more efficient for me to be still doing the throws. Wait, hang on, I can heal I can hit those? No! I didn't know. I I I didn't think they respawned. Well, now don't I feel like a fool. Where I should have been focusing on doing this. I focused entirely on the wrong thing. Also, I don't like how fast those move when they're trying to get into location. They just fly straight through you. Ow. Ow! Alright, well, never mind. We're gonna die uh, here to the second boss. I mean, they're getting down to pretty low HP. It's just, yeah, I'm dead instantly. I didn't know where they were going to be attacking from there. That's kind of unfortunate. That's kind of unfortunate. Oh, well. I'm going to get more food in shops as well as expand the shops 
Other supplies? Transmute installation installs a transmute in some shops. Dirk, the alchemist, discovered a way to turn blood into transmutagen. He sold his creation to the pilfers for an unknown amount. And another food voucher. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to spawn in, quickly loot the first floor, and then try and rush to the boss again. Because I'm not super comfortable with that. I'm not super comfortable with just seeing that boss under 20 minutes being an episode. Although, honestly, I probably shouldn't be focusing on gold at all. If this is my plan, I should kind of forfeit gold. There's a blessing I can get. So if we get a key, we know where to come back to. Yep. This whole area is a minefield. Quite literally. Which does mean that there are some interesting things we can do, like blowing up rocks just by walking over areas that so happen to have mines. Ooh, got a bomb. Got some HP for later. D Was that deal even more damage when you take a... Sorry, a deal even more damage when you critical strike. Okay. Thought it was when you take damage, deal more critical strikes, but no, it wasn't. Not at all. Yeah, well, we're not going to find if there was a secret room adjacent here. If there was, it'd be to the south, right? I tried. <laughs> Very little, but I tried. Fine, this room's pretty garbage as well. Hopefully we find a key in that chest over there. No. Final chance is to find a key up here so I can actually get a blessing. Well, it was possible. Just because it didn't happen didn't mean it wasn't. Fine. We'll run away. Why does it default to talk? Why would I talk? I have more important things to do, like kill the second boss. Now that I know not to focus on the, uh, the orbs there. It's definitely a bigger shop. really claim otherwise. I mean, I'm being offered the ability to leave immediately. If my goal is just go to the boss. Let's do it. I don't know if I'm going to need that many items to fight the boss, to be entirely honest. I think just knowing how to fight it better or just even dying against it again, but knowing from that fight how better to combat it in the future, I think, is good enough. Like, sure, we died on our first run, but now we know not to focus on those charged orbs. Literally at all. If we can avoid it, that is. sworn that was going to be some sort of a problem there. Like a trap. But no. All as well. That's a very rude enemy to put directly in front of me as I run out there again. Just going to make you well aware of that.
Hey! Avoid falling into holes. Lovely. We actually managed to get a benefit out of the bomb pilfer there. I'm very pleased that I haven't been finding a lot of imps yet. Although I know they're coming, right? Later floors. Just enjoying the time off. I don't want any of those. <laughs> thrown damage, thrown speed, thrown range? Right there. That's about it for me. Yep, could have told you that was going to happen. The enemies were staying near the fire pillar, and I was not. Good jump there as well. Feel the effects of potions for longer. But it gives me a potion that duplicates all basic items in the room. That could be very impactful. Do that in the shop. Can't get into the shop. <laughs> yeah, look, avoid falling into holes is whatever, right? If it was actually fly... That might be useful in the boss fight, but avoid falling into holes doesn't seem like it's going to be. Honestly? As long as I can walk into the next shop, this potion's going to be incredible for us. Because all of those things that I increase the shop's supply for are basic items themselves. So, so done with all of the imps in this game. I kind of wish they were brighter, like almost like a fluorescent, so that they're immediately, uh, sorry, immediately noticeable upon entry of a room. But maybe that's just, you know, as I get better at the game, I'll start to recognize them more, or I'll even start to recognize the room layouts that more typically hold them. Okay. Regenerate slowly over time seems like a really good thing for us to have for a boss fight. Especially when we have the Miner's Flask and... Previously, we got the slow potion or whatever it was called. So we actually have a pretty significant duration on those effects. So my focus is always immediately with just lessen the amount of enemies in the room. Focus on one immediately until it's dead, then move on. Because then you have hell less stuff to dodge. Overstocks the shop. Well, I wish I had that earlier. More duplicates. Oh well. Yeah, I'm barely out damaging them if they do decide to go full heal. But at the very least, I am out damaging them. And I've learned, you know, especially while they're doing that, get up close and personal, so my throws are a lot quicker. I mean, my bombs currently don't deal that much damage as a result of having not focused on bomb upgrades. So I don't think having bombs in the boss fight is going to be that, uh, that important at all to me. So 
So I think for that reason, so let well, me make sure that this alchemist dies. There we go. Yeah, I think for that reason, anytime I get offered a valuable way to spend a bomb, I should just do it. Like here, I was actually going to check that wall for a secret room in particular. Specifically, I was going to check it from the other room, the room to the south side of it, because it just looked real suspect. Really? Is this going to work? Nope. <laughs> that sucks. It feels like you really, really like it, or rather it feels like the puzzles in this game are over-reliant on uh, having fire. Or maybe I just don't have access to enough fire items at the moment, and later I'm going to feel differently. But I do feel a little over-reliant on that. Temporarily increases attack speed. The alacrity serum. Eh. Pass all that. Shouldn't need that many resources next floor. Especially because the floor isn't that large. Yeah, that's... That looks suspect to me, which is where I was going to pop the bomb anyway. So, kind of glad to see that proven and borne out. And down we go. Whew. I mean, I'll check out the shop for a laugh, but. Remove a curse. Don't have one. Temporarily increases throw damage. For a particularly long period of time. Oh, no. But I have another potion that I want more. Dang it. They punked me. They set me up for that. Rude. You just increased the damage and HP of the most annoying enemy. How dare. Still managed to get through that in one piece. Uh, sure, I'm not getting all of the gold, but I'm still getting a pretty significant amount. Now, I do have the ability to remove a curse using a potion in the shop. So I'll check this. I guess I'll increase my maximum health and also reduce my maximum health. Do increases in your maximum health come with healing as well? Because if they do, then that was actually just like a very complicated way to heal. They do. Well, that was, uh, let's be honestly, uh, like middlingly complicated way in order to heal. Lowering your max HP and increasing it. Excellent. It'll give me a lot more room to benefit from... Huh. Thank you. Uh, it'll give me a lot more room to stand to benefit from my troll sweat as well. Stop setting me up for those strikes. It's really mean. Okay. Can we stop getting secret rooms that are just complete garbage? I don't have the chameleon tail. Ugh. Ugh. Is there something about those secret rooms I'm missing that makes them valuable that wouldn't require me to light all of those sconces? I overestimated my speed there.
All right. Well, we know where the boss is, and we know where the exit is. So let's check past here. Yeah, I'll spend a key. Sure. Had discounted that that was an option. I'm stacking Thorium like nobody's business, but I'm not finding relics is a concern of mine right now. Maybe it's about time we do another full run. Probably next episode, I feel. So I'm going to go back to the shop. I'm going to buy a bunch of HP. And then we're going to bounce into the fight. And all will be right. All will be right with the world. I'll just show you. Yep, that's definitely this. I knew it was going to be as well. Shouldn't have, def uh, shouldn't have second guessed myself there. Also, like, it's possible I end up killing this boss. So maybe I shouldn't be spending all of my money. Just so that I'm better set up for the rest of the run after it. Hello, Charge Golem. Okay, I don't know about that attack pack. I'm not gonna get. I don't know about that previous attack pattern is what I was saying. Okay. No! It sends the orbs at you at the absolute speed of light. And I just don't have the damage to kill them as a reliable effect, right? <laughs> uh, Pestle Sinister, because Sinister's Latin for left. Or rather, it is from the root word Latin for left. Doing way better against Dexter right now. That said, it does look like my damage is still pretty good. Hup. Nope. One down. What did you want me to do against that one game? You sent it directly at me. <laughs> okay, I'm very much hoping that they can't regenerate their arms. This is a new attack. It's a great opening though if I find out how best to utilize it. Without taking damage on the exit, that is. Do you not do other attacks anymore? Is this now the only one? Yeah, it certainly feels like it. Yeah, I think I need to leave earlier. Two hits there. It's way too much. Got him. Woo! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, barely. All right. Blueprint, golden powder. Uh, we also get mortar's fragment, as well as golden kernels. Root of the alchemist, the key to the halls. Yeah. We'd already been going to the halls, but we'd skipped it by taking a bunch of curses. Whereas now, we can legitimately get past. Okay. And any moment now I will die and take all of my 4.2. 4.2 is not bad. Take all of that back with me. Come on. I mean, look, I'd at least like to be able to check whatever is to the south of me right now. Good. Take two curses in order to sustain myself on gold and then pick up a bunch of cold. Yeah, I'll do it. Use more gold on death and healing is less effective. When you say healing is less effective, I'm assuming it's not affecting that kind of healing. Should be a carried relic, full of keys. Uh, swap your items around? No. I'll take some keys though. I don't know. Now I actually feel like, especially with the amount of HP we got here and the you know potential for gaining so much HP past this point as well, I feel like we're back in competition. Oh, you are kidding me. There was an imp up in the top left. And obviously, as soon as I go into that map, I see a necromancer and I have to kill it first. Oh, that's so rude. So rude. And I'm just short of being able to expand the shop's uh, special item display. Alright, I'm gonna install the transmute. Uh, expands transmute installation to more shops. So I, it wasn't already installed to all shops off of the back of the first thing that I did? Alright then. Alright, uh, let's craft this. It'll explode in gold. And you know what? Let's finally do it. Let's carry an extra potion. That's long, long overdue, I think. We'll also duplicate all gold in the room. Damn. All right, gold kernels. That's a pretty great pickup there. And take a key into the next run. Until then, though. My name is Nerapsity. The name of the game has been Undermine. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.